we try to manage our life. And we try to do many different things, you know, we have job, business, and um, try to build a relationship with others, you know, do many, many, many different things in our life. But this one blind spot, we have no idea about how to manage our mind, how to train our mind. There's a lot of problems, big problems, actually, comes from that. Because in, in our life, sometimes we try to solve the problem, to avoid the problem. We try to have happiness. From material perspective, although our life is wonderful, if you like to have a nice car, okay, I have a car, and nice food, you can get right away. But even though still you are unhappy, still there's feeling of, I can do better, still you have not satisfied. So these material things cannot give you real happiness. Why? Because monkey mind problem. Most of problem in our life is, is created by our mind, what I call monkey mind, crazy monkey mind. So if you put one monkey in the grocery store, what happens? <laughs> Make a lot of problem, yeah? Messy. But if you want to train the monkey mind, you cannot train your monkey mind just like tight the hand and legs of monkey mind. You cannot really block the monkey mind and use stick, you know, beat the monkey mind. Doesn't work. But the monkey mind, like job, normally what we call restless. It's very active, a lot of energy. Bala, 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 yada, 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 you know. Yes, you know, doing many different things. And especially want to make some problems. If there's problem, monkey mind happy. <laughs> I have job. <laughs> if there's no problem and the monkey begin to fear, oh, I become jobless, no good. And soon I become homeless, who knows, you know. <laughs> Better to make one problem right now, you know, and then search and make similar problem. It's a big problem. Something just clicked when he said, oh, we all have monkey mind. And I, I felt tremendous relief that, yes, okay, it's okay to have monkey mind. I do. The nature of, uh, of our experience with mind is that mind is, is pretty wild. And the way that monkey moves for many people, not everybody, but for many people, is in patterns that, that really cause a lot of pain. I'm a schmuck, you know. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never had been able to meditate before. This is just confusing. Uh, this is just a waste of my time. I'd be better off outside going golfing. It's just such a great analogy for what the mind is really like. I mean, this, this image of the monkey that has this kind of endless curiosity, it's never sitting still for a moment, it's always flitting around, looking at everything in the room and playing around, and that's really what the mind is actually doing. The mind is always, everything that kind of moves through experience, the mind is commenting, judging, wanting to go out and grab onto some things and play with some things or push away other things. The mind tends to get caught up in all of the vicissitudes of life, whatever it is, and invests an inordinate amount of time in trying to navigate uh, uh, the complexity of life and fix, get right, or you know, either get it, fix it, get it right, figure out how to do it, or worrying about why it isn't right. This discursive mind that, you know, just gets involved with everything. So, you know, monkey goes to hearing and we create all these stories and things about what's being heard or seen or smelt or thoughts in the mind, the emotions in the mind. Monkey just has a heyday, and it's exhausting. It doesn't bring us satisfaction. It always has that promise, you know, so often has that promise that it's going to be, oh, now we'll really have fun. But then we get spun out by what monkey mind does.